Yesterday, when we were doing rehearsal on the scene, Caitlin and I prayed um, that we that we put we put angels over all the cars, and that nothing bad would happen, and we set an agreement on that. And then after we were done, nothing bad happened. Isn't that a miracle? Okay, 2 Corinthians 5, 7. Everybody go there. Grace, what does that say? It says that we walk by faith and not by sight. You walk by faith and not by sight. That's one of my favorite scriptures too, by the way, Grace. Thank you. Grace has picked the scripture for you guys to walk by faith and not by what you see. Because sometimes what we see could be very challenging, challenging to us if we internalize it. If you're not walking by faith, what are they walking by? Fear? They're walking by fear. Or they're walking by what? Sight. Sight. And when you see something sometimes, what does it produce? If you see something you don't like, if you see something, what is it? Fear. It produces fear. You either can walk in faith or you can walk in fear. How do you have the courage to walk by faith? What do you have to do? Stay in the Word. Why? Why do you have to stay in the Word? Romans 10, 17. For you to walk by faith, you have to have faith. For you to have faith, you have to hear the Word. Day in, day out. Day in and day out. I can tell you this. Many times I've opened up the bedroom doors of my little children. And you know what they're doing? They're reading their word. 11 o'clock at night. I walk out of here at night time. I look over at William. He's reading his word. Underlining his Bible. Hi, my name is Yvonne. And I had a game yesterday. What kind of game? Is it on the phone or was it a real thing? It wasn't playing with a computer. It wasn't playing with an iPad. iTunes. We. It wasn't drawing it. It wasn't pouting. Okay. Sounds good. I played and uh, we were winning and I was scoring and I was Alright, good boy, Yvonne. 